Hi, this is Samad and the video done today. A very happy Mahashivratri to one and all. A lot of worship, a lot of offerings, a lot of sweets will be offered to Lord Shiva to get his blessings. Over the whole day, over the whole night, rituals and worshipping will go on at maximum places as one of the most powerful day time as well as the night time. So let us here today understand what is Mahashivratri. As far as mythology is concerned, one of the major points is that this is the day when Lord Shiva drunk the poison which came out, which was resulted as the oceanic platonic movement which happened. And he drunk the whole poison and blocked it in his throat through which his body color went from normal to blue or sky blue. This is the mythological event, but now let us take the real side of Lord Shiva. We celebrate Mahashivratri every year in the same pattern. So, on a very Lemon language, get this very much straight that he is, if you consider Lord Shiva, he is bored with the regular ritual. Change the ritual. Okay. Let us here understand what basically Shiva is. Do you think Shiva is a person? No. Shiva is not a person. Shiva has nothing to do with a human body. Human body is a form. Please understand. Shiva is a state of vibrating frequencies of energy. Shiva is not a person who is sitting somewhere in the Himalayas or let us say Kailash and he is sitting there meditating and managing everything. And there is a time when he has this day in his hand that he can rule and demolish negative energies and overrule negative energies and rest of the days he is not able to do that. No, this is really not the case. It's he is too far and beyond this ideology. Please move out of this ideology. He is really bored and done with this. Shiva is a state where absolute love and absolute freedom exists. If you have read as many sculptures as possible, Shiva means freedom to such a state, such a depth, that even your cellular levels of regeneration is free. It starts spreading. It goes into freedom. It no more repairs. It goes free. That is the depth of freedom which is about Shiva. Shiva is the highest merger, the highest blend of two main energies in existence, the Earth Nareshwar, the blend of super consciousness with the energy of Shakti, which is reproduction, which is love, which is care, which is the all of Earth called as Dhatima, the Earth, the Kundalini, which rises. It is the ultimate blend. Now, what do we do? What we do is, we think that liquor or let us say bhang is prasad of Shiva. He used to do it, so can we? No, that's really not the case. He did because he was Shiva. We should not because we are not Shiva. We do not even understand 10% of freedom and we want to be like Shiva. We cannot be so. I may be appearing or sounding very very blunt and into the face but now it's time that it's 21st century we should move and change the rituals. We need to change our mindsets. We need to change how we approach to things. We are not doing so. Shiva is the first step of change. Shiva is the first step of evolution. Ask yourself, do you think you have changed since 10 years? Not the biological body, your psychological body. 
do you think that the way you approach relationships or success before five years now has changed? Don't give me the time stuff. I want the real qualitative point. Answer it to yourself. No, there is no change. You're still as it is past six years and you're still functioning the same way. You still feel bad about the same things which you were feeling bad before six years and still you feel bad about the same things when you are today 36, 40, 30, 26, name it, frame it. Where is the change? There is no change. Today, this Shivratri, bring in the change, go in for evolution. Do not do any rituals. Just understand and bring in the change, bring in the evolution. Have a beautiful day. Take care, people. Enjoy Shivratri. Peace.